People of Reddit, what is better than sex? Farting away a stomach ache. Or shitting it away. There's a quote that I read probably 25 years ago that stuck with me. Nothing is as overrated as bad sex, and nothing is as underrated as a good shit edit. Figures that my highest rated comment of all time would be me saying shitting is better than sex. Or shitting it away. Unless you were only trying to fart it away. Sharty like a melody. I met a girl at a wedding this weekend. I was really afraid to go talk to her but a slow song came up and I had to at least ask her to dance. When I asked her she responded by saying, absolutely, I've been waiting all night for you to ask. That shit felt good. When your one nostril finally clears after suffering for half a day edit, thanks all of you for my first ever Reddit awards, who knew so many people shared in my suffering. Add on for when you finally get the water out of that one ear. As a swimmer, I'd quiet didn't think of this as well. It's always so satisfying when you're just lying down in bed and the water trickles out. Cracking your back in that one spot you've been trying to get for months. I have this one sweet spot way up high on the right side of my neck. The crack in that spot is super big and super loud and it's my favorite one to get because it feels so good. But the wait period for when it's ready to crack again is super long. I got it last week, which means it'll be a good while before I can get my favorite crack again. You crack addict. The feeling of really belonging in your friend group home place of comfort. God. That is the exactly feeling that has made me so happy. I have one best friend who no matter how long we have been apart, or what is going on in our lives, we can just be back together and have deep conversations and I feel very comfortable and at home with him. It's the way you feel with family members where you can look like shit, say whatever, cry in front of them, doom spiral, have no secrets, where you can sit in silence and it's okay. He is literally the only person I've ever felt familial love for outside of my parents. And quite honestly, I can tell him more and be more myself around him than I can my family. Edit, thank you for all the kind words and awards. To clarify, I'm a female, I'm gay, and my best friend is a straight male, he is married and his wife is great. Once it's safe, he got COVID even though as he is fully vaccinated and we both have autoimmune diseases, he'll be back to my movie nights with him and his wife, love her too and I consider her part of my chosen family as well and I'll definitely be thinking about all the stories you guys shared on this thread. Going back to sleep after accidentally waking up early because you saw your alarm won't ring until much later. Somewhat related, waking up at around the time that you normally would for work, and for an instant being overcome with that feeling, dread, that you have to get up and head to work for the day. Then, you have a moment of clarity where you realize that it's actually your day off, and you can go right back to sleep for as long as you want. Love that shit. I remember when I didn't have kids. Peeing when you've had to go really bad and been holding it in a while. Have you ever had to hold it so long that you don't get that feeling of relief when you finally do pee? Happened to me once, once I was finally able to pee it was just pain, and the stomach ache didn't go away for like 45 minutes after. Sometimes I have to pee so much that I actually can't even start. That suck marrow. Yeah that happens when your bladder muscles become overstretched and can't contract properly. Quite a bad design flaw really. Hopefully it'll get patched in a future update. Waking up and feeling energetic. Wow is that even possible? Yeah I remember it happened to me once. A true day off, where you have absolutely nothing to do, nothing planned, and a completely open day to do whatever the duck you want. Waking up early in the morning, just to find out that you don't have to go to school work today and can turn around and keep sleeping. Good hearty deep laughter with someone you are comfortable with. Better than that, the best thing in the world is that special type of hysterical laughter you get when something unexpectedly hilarious happens, and you are completely incapacitated. Can't breathe, your whole abdomen has seized up with laughter, all you can do is gasp and wheeze, doubled over, tears streaming from your eyes. If you need a good laugh today, Here's me cackling as my cat evolves into a box tortoise, sound on. One night I was sitting at a table with my friend group and we were a few beers in and one of my friends asked do you like dragons? And then legitimately 5 minutes later said cause I'm gonna be dragging these balls on your face and for some reason the delivery and timing was perfect and we were all laughing so hard we started crying. Such a good feeling to have with others. Hanging out with some friends and the smokers all pull out a cigarette.
My buddy doesn't have any and goes to ask a buddy hey man can I bum a cigarette if you have any. I don't want to suck you dry. The stillness in the air was tangible as five 18-year-old boys all turned to stare at my friend with the cigarette and wait for the destruction that was inevitable. A slow grin crossed his face as he said hey man it's cool you suck me dry every night. Eating something you've been craving for a while. Agreed. Like pizza, chicken, your mother, good ice cream, etc. When you move just right and all the joints in your spine unexpectedly pop and do that brzip thing. Ah. Yeah. That happens to me mostly when I stand up from a chair, then everything cracks. When you're the first person to wake up and make your coffee and do something alone and quiet. As a father and husband with two people who have to have the TV or computers or consoles running from the second they're up, I really love waking up early to silence lol. I know that feeling, I don't have a wife or kids but I live with my family and due to my work schedule I can stay up late, hearing nothing at night and just giving me some time to do whatever I want is excellent, so much silence and quietness. When I was in university, I also stayed up super late most nights for the same reason. Now I'm a teacher so I don't have that luxury lol but the mornings are okay too. If it's raining and I get my coffee, they'll just sit by the window and watch it come down or read a book or watch the news at a very low volume. One of the most refreshing things and helps me appreciate the small stuff more. Surprise no one mentioned when that big turd finally gets out. Shit feels orgasmic. Love that shit. I used to be a pretty ducked up opiate addict and the only respite I ever had when going through withdrawals was the ability to drop ducks. I've heard Jason Mewes talk about trouble pooping on heroin. How are you holding up these days? When the scissors start gliding on the wrapping paper. And you just keep going until the very end, so satisfying. Falling asleep within an hour of laying down. Supposedly. I've never experienced that or sex. Edit, did not expect my one banger to be about how I can't sleep or bang, but, thanks for the awards. Im out in minutes. Or minute. So says the wife, lol. Edit, wow, thanks for the awards. Who knew my two most upvoted comments would be a double entendre about sleep and sex, lol. Enough about your sex life. How fast do you fall asleep? Zing. Threw the door wide open on that one, didn't I? Edit, thanks for the awards, kind strangers. Even if you barricade the door people will dig under it. You are never safe from a joke lol. Successfully removing that uncomfortable popcorn kernel from your teeth after half a day of trying, using just your tongue. Two sex edit, how is this so helpful? One sex, two sex, red sex, blue sex? One sex, two sex, me sex. You sex. Lab rats chose cocaine over sex. So, cocaine. So, those lab rats only chose cocaine over food or sex when they were deprived of social interaction. When they had healthy social interactions and exercise they actually would usually choose to stop ingesting cocaine altogether. Also, from personal experience, good sex is much better than good cocaine. You do the best coke and you feel great for like 20 minutes, and then like shit the rest of the day night unless you keep doing more. If the sex is good I feel great all day and have no shitty come down lol. Making your best friend laugh. I mean laughing so much, they're crying. Unable to speak, sweating, headache, deepest laughing possible. There's nothing better. Head scratches. Are you a dog by any chance? Have you never had a head massage at the hairdresser? You should totally try it, it's so nice, D.